Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. I'm sorry for for my voice. I have a little bit of a cold. I'm under the weather, so I'm sorry for the sniffles and, 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 and the voice. But uh, that will not stop me from doing a tutorial, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to SSH into our Raspberry Pi. And once inside, we're going to go into the folder that we created. Uh, clear this. And what we're going to do is open Active. And I have here open, this is the MATLAB's uh, MATWORKS Central, MATLAB Central um, uh, website. They, you can go there, they have a lot of MATLAB code. And as I told you in the beginning, you can run all, most MATLAB code out there, whether it's in image processing or any other engineering discipline, you can run it with Active. But the good thing about Active is open source, so so it's absolutely free. But you can still go there and get the code and, and, and get ideas of, of the uh, all the available things that you can do. And for example, in this one, they're doing uh, manipulating pixels and images. So, I'll paste. I'll paste. And as you can see, Imagine this one being a, a white, black, white, black, white, black, and so on. And as you can see, um, most images, th what they really are, th this is, is the pixels, is just um, it's arrays or, or, or uh, a matrix, right? So think of this uh, as a, this could be a portion of, a, of an image, but all it is to a computer well, digitally speaking, it's all, all it is is a grid, a 4x4 four four grid of black and white, uh, of ones and negative ones, so zero and ones, okay? And in here, you can make them bigger, as you can see here. You can make the matrix as big as you want it. So you can see it's, this is not a 4x4 four four anymore, and this is now an 8x8. Eight and so on okay and you can even get it even bigger than that you can go this one is a, a 200 0 to, to, to 199 and as you can see it's a lot more uh, packed and uh, it's a little smaller okay and you can scale it back down by mul by dividing by 20 as he did here, he's scaling it down, dividing by 20, and it has, he does this, he rounded it, that's why the, the rounded type of uh, notion in the bottom there, or you can have, if you want it more flat, like a, like a checkerboard or a chessboard, let's think of a chessboard. And if you're thinking of a chessboard, think of it this way, okay? But a chessboard is this one is ten, I believe. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, zero to nine, so it's ten. A chessboard is uh, is rook, knight, bishop, queen, king, bishop, knight, and rook. So it's it has too too many so what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, do a, a little program here to do a real chessboard and uh, and I will explain the code as I, as I do it so the first thing I'm going to do is clear all and close all copy and like I, I said in one tutorial, you can do this as, as a function and run it all at once. I'm doing it individually because I'm going to be explaining what I'm doing. So here what I'm going to do is create a, the dark canvas. And I'll show you what it looks like. It's a 320 by 320. The way I got 320 by 320, as you can see here, this is a, a checkerboard, but it's uh, 20 pixels. So so if you go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so it's 8. 
so 8 times 2 is 160 but I wanted a little bit bigger than that so instead of 160 I, I made it times 2 so it's 160 times 2 is 320 so the pixels instead of being 20 is going to be times 2 which will be 40 okay that's where it came from and let's do that and here let's do let me show you what what I have so far so you can see how it's being created what is really going on and as you can see all it's doing is creating the canvas the dark canvas okay now we're going to start introducing the white the white uh, uh, 40 by 40 pixels okay and you're going to start seeing what it does and let's show it again start seeing uh, one more nothing changed in that one let's do this one here let's do all of them actually let's do up to let's do up to here oops to do it from here to there copy but before I do that let's clear one the dark canvas now it's going to show the white being created so I hit it now so if I do in show start seeing it okay this is the white the black and now in the also I, I apply the second this one is this part right here this part right here it has created a part this one okay now I'm going to with these four, two four loops right here I'm going to start doing the white here white here white here white here and so on okay you're gonna see it as I do it here and now if I do again in show canvas empty matrix and as you can see it, it should show a real chessboard as you can see okay and, and, and but you can go to this page right here they have a really a lot of nice examples and uh, you can play around with some of the functions some of the functions are not available in my in active uh, but some of the most of the code it is okay but uh, like uh, like I always say if you like this tutorial please uh, click the like box and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time thanks for watching